What would you miss if you bought an iPhone 16e with Apple's C1 modem chip? By now, you might have seen pundits commenting on the lack of millimeter wave 5G in the iPhone 16e. Well, that's clearly worse than an iPhone with a Qualcomm modem chip, right? Qualcomm's got millimeter wave capability in their newest modem chips, which are used in the iPhone 16, 16 Plus, 16 Pro, and 16 Pro Max, but not the iPhone 16e. What are you missing out on? Let's check the carrier maps for 5G millimeter wave coverage. AT&T's map doesn't break out millimeter wave coverage. Verizon claims they've got millimeter wave 5G in, quote, hundreds of cities, but when you check their coverage map, they don't actually show what area millimeter wave 5G covers. T-Mobile's map is the most deceptive. What they call 5G ultra capacity is the part of their network that uses both millimeter wave and mid-band 5G for coverage. So they don't actually tell you which parts are served by millimeter wave 5G. With hundreds of cities, as Verizon claims, surely it must be 10, 15, 20% of their traffic that is on 5G millimeter wave radios. Oddly, they are silent on this point. Are there independent measures of millimeter wave usage? In fact, both OpenSignal, a mobile industry analytics firm, and Moffat Nathanson, an equities and analysis firm, and estimate that 5G millimeter wave traffic is less than 1% of the data on mobile networks. Some of them claim it's much less than 1%. In other words, a millimeter wave data packet in the mobile network is like finding a unicorn in your backyard. The bottom line is that you don't need to worry about the 5G modem in the iPhone 16e. You won't notice the difference. The utilization rate of a millimeter wave in the US is shockingly low. It will take several years to improve that.